Hey everybody, this is not a spring chick, and I sometimes you hear news that you just totally cannot believe. Cyprus, yes, the country of Cyprus has closed their banks. You're going, well, why would they do something like that? Well, they closed them because they decided that they needed more money, so they're going to take out 10 to 40 percent out of people's bank accounts and to prevent a run on bank, you know, or actually a run on people going to their banks to withdraw money, they decided to close the banks. Now this is something that's not just for Cyprus, they are expecting to roll out through Europe and they're even talking about coming to the US. Can you believe that? To keep the system going, they're basically going to raid your bank account. And for all of you that think, oh this is never going to happen, I will tell you, yes it can happen, even here in the United States. Well for now we're going to bring old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. California regulators trying to undo the laws that they passed regarding their retroactive taxes. Well, as is the case with most Democrats, they don't read the legislation that they write. And they didn't realize it hit every business, including the mom and pop store on your block. And that uh, everybody has to pay retroactive and it's in the billions of dollars now. They, they, they went to do that because, well, We've been giving people tax breaks to do business in the state, and because that they don't like the way rules are, they've left the state. And we're going to get money back from all of these people that are doing it by making the thing retroactive. So if you were doing business in California 10 years ago, and you left the state, they want 10 years of taxes for leaving the state. But the problem is, is that they're going to hit everybody that is in the state also. Mm -hmm. It made no exclusion for the people that left the state. It said, it said taxes on businesses to do business in the state of California. Well, and some of those companies no longer exist. Some of the companies no longer exist, but, you know, but they, 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 I heard a person from, like I said this morning, a person from Texas said, he said, I just want to see the state of California send tax bills to people that came to our state. He said, first of all, retroactive taxes are illegal. Mm -hmm. They will lose it in the court, but they're going to... They, they're going to try and collect it beforehand. Well, they're going to try to collect it. They, this is the funny part. As they're trying to undo the disaster they caused, they're sending the people out to collect the money to put businesses out of business. And they said, but that was never our intention to put a business out of business, but the law is passed, and we have to enforce the law, even though the law may put you out of business. You have to under, it's sort of like, you know, the protection business that they used to have when I was a kid. You know, well... We're not going to destroy your business. We're just going to make certain that your business doesn't operate unless you give us money. So it's the same thing, folks. Can Iran world power is built on recent progress in nuclear talks? There is no progress on nuclear talks, for Christ's sake. I mean, the, the, everyone in the universe except the President of the United States and his suck-ups know that Iran already has nuclear weapons. They're trying to make more of them. That's what they're, you know, what happens is it, Obama is about to prepare, a, 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 allow a country to be, build nuclear weapons that they can sell to all the Muslim countries in the world and every terrorist organization. I mean, because he can talk to the Iranian people because he's a, you know, he, he's more, you know, it's basically he has the lowest, I love it, he has the lowest uh, 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 acceptance ratio of any current American president among the Muslim world. And it's not because he likes the Jews, because the Jews hate him also. Mm. Canada considering engagement in Mali mission. Well, yeah, because they're trying to do, they're, they're trying to stop the uh, Al-Qaeda, which the president has said is dead, is moving all over Africa now. Mm. Because the problem is Al-Qaeda represents uh, a fundamentalist Muslim belief that basically infidels should all be killed and women should all be kept in the, you know, chained to stoves as which they want them to be. The Muslim males like that thought. Hmm. FLQ terrorist, a major figure in 1970, October crisis dies. Yeah, well most of them die without ever going to jail, which is funny. Ooh. Well, they know where they're at, they know what they've done, it's like the William Ayers person who everyone knows blew up something and they refused to put him in a jail cell. They should have just took it, put him in a cell, threw away the key, and uh, basically, well, if I was a Republican president, I would send a guy to Guantanamo and he'd be lost. If if you were in, if he was in New York State instead of Illinois, they put you in the tombs and they lose you for months at a time. And Egypt warns giving women some rights could destroy society nine hours ago. Oh, I didn't know, <laughs> I didn't know that nine hours ago should have been removed. I, I, I was that. like, what is no. that? Okay, 
in order to get loans from the INF, they have to re they have to give the rights back to the women to drive, to vote, to be able to work, to not have to wear burkas. That's what Europe is demanding, and uh, our president can see nothing wrong with exactly what they're doing. And, and everybody in the universe sees everything. First of all, the Muslim Brotherhood, by law, is not not allowed to hold elected office anywhere in the Muslim countries, and Obama is propping up a, 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 a religious organization that's, that are, are, that basically Al-Qaeda was created from with hundreds of millions of, hundreds of millions and billions of dollars of American money. He's giving the people uh, Abrams tanks, for Christ's sake. Abrams. You realize how much those tanks would be worth to the Muslim world when the Russian and the Chinese take them apart and start building our Abrams, mm. and he's giving them to them free of charge. Oh, how nice of him! This guy hates this country <laughs> like you would not believe. I know, but they still reelected him. Nah, kind of. they're all in. Okay, well, we if if it had been anybody but Mitt Romney, we wouldn't have elected him. But Mitt Romney, <laughs> okay, I, I, I've said this a zillion times. Nobody my age is going to elect anyone my age anymore because they know that people my age are not able to handle the job. They said there's a difference between a world leader like, okay, the world leaders used to be older, but they were older because they were wiser. Today, old doesn't mean wise. It just means you managed to beat the, the you know, the Grim Reaper for longer than people. <laughs> Dutch is hoping for baby boy and William wants a girl. Okay, that's got to be the biggest bunch of BS. Oh, you know, all men want daughters. No, they don't. Men want sons. Women want daughters. Men want sons. Women want daughters so they can play dress up and they can go out looking like mother and daughter together. Fathers want somebody to play with. So when they get this, I always wanted a daughter, and then they have the daughter. Oh, what do I got to do? With? Oh, you know, you know, how do you potty train a girl? Mm -hmm. you know, so, yeah, you know. In Brazil, a mix of racial openness and exclusion. Yeah, this is they got an Olympic Games going to Brazil, and basically it's a society. They're, they're um, I mean, you, I can, you can go out on the beaches during the day in Rio, but you would not want. I mean, you go out all the beaches during the day, but you wouldn't go anywhere at night, and you don't go at night anywhere in Brazil without. Uh, without bodyguards, because it's awfully a dangerous country. Plus, mm -hmm. there is no infra. The, the whole country has a lousy infrastructure. They're tearing down whole neighborhoods to build power stations to feed the facilities that are needed for the Olympic Games, which will never be used after the Olympic Games. They don't. Okay, there's no reason for those stadiums. They don't do that stuff in Brazil because nobody. Okay, the only people that go to school in Brazil are the are the Porto, are the Portuguese and the upper-class mestizos and the Caucasians, the other people never go there. As Jerome Mopoli phrased, Obama sees global rules. Yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, because all of a sudden it decided that if Obama can fire drones into our country, we can fire drones into his country. Mm -hmm. And uh, since you do not, okay, a drone, if you can see it, you can shoot it down with a bow and arrow. But the problem is, is that you don't know the drones are being fired until they're over your ground. And uh, they will start firing them into our country. I mean, they're going to go to South America, Latin America, and they're going to start firing drones into the United States in retaliation for drones that Obama keeps firing. It. Well, they said George Bush did it. Yeah, George Bush did it very sparingly. Obama does drone it. They're, he fires so many drones that they're no longer keeping track publicly of how many drones he fires a day into foreign countries. Oh, they're not? No. Oh, well, because gosh. unfortunately... Uh, they, I love this scene. They show the scene of the man and the woman sitting at the com at the big view screen, the size of a hundred inch TV screen, looking at the drone going in. No, that's not quite how it works, mm. because they're they're showing the drone in the picture, folks. You can't show you the can't. drone in the picture because it's taking the picture. And Israeli premier names a new defense minister. Yeah, and uh, because they uh, what happens is is that they're the um, mm. A lot of people have disagreements about, okay, we have defeat as, if you watch the, all the things about the history of the Jewish state, what happens is every time they get complacent in Israel, the country falls. Right now you have an army, well we can do business with the Muslims. Well no, they haven't been able to do business for 4,000 years with them. 
So what would make you think that today, when they're more radical than they were before? Usually, it used to be they didn't exterminate the Jews. They wanted them for slaves. Today, they just want them killed. And Venezuela's Maduro accuses the U.S. of plot to kill rival. Yeah, they're always plot. Well, we, we, we gave uh, radiation poisoning to, you know, to the last president. No, we kill people. You go stand off a mile and a half and shoot somebody. If you want somebody dead, you do it. Ooh, Cyprus <laughs> Parliament rejected the tax, uh, the tax on bank the deposit. bank deposits because they knew that they were, uh, they, they they would bring the country down. The people were going to withdraw every penny uh. from the banks on Thursday. So <laughs> it means there's not going to be any bailout of Cyprus, which means it declares bankruptcy, which means that the, the systematically it's going to declare. Every country is now going to declare bankruptcy, and it's just that. What was the most stupid thing? Thinking that people were going well. We're, I heard this morning one of the morons over on Fox News. Well, it's better to have a little bit of money taken than to lose everything. No, well, no, 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 no. If you take all the money out of the bank and put it in your pocket or in your mattress or hold the ground, you don't lose any of it. Mm. And a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Uh -uh, okay. That someday there may actually be a politician elected that does the will of the people and not the will of the political party. <laughs>